The dry early harvest has been big news in Lafayette. Because this is a farming community, I guess we probably emphasize the farm news. This was the antique tractor uh, plowing. Newspaper editor Ruth Klausner makes no secret of her passion for agriculture. And then we had the blessing of the tractors over at a rural church not far from here. So we've had a lot of tractor news lately. But it was not a picture of a tractor that recently stopped Ruth in her tracks. This one happened to be in the store window, and I'm going by the window, and I go, whoa, I saw some cows. And it wasn't and like she hadn't seen cows before. My license plate in my car says cow lady. Her plates say it. That one came from Italy. Her office at the newspaper screams it. Come here, Leroy. Come on. In your bed. This is home. And then Ruth yep. goes home. Welcome to the museum. Home of 13,822 cow items. It would be one thing for Ruth Klausner to plaster a hallway with her cow collection. <laughs> even allow it to spill over into her home office. Let me go through and get lights on first. But the living room? Yeah, we'll go through. The kitchen? I just, I just love cows. Certainly. Not the whole house. Pitchers, teapots, canister sets, things like that here. This is the spare bedroom. Of course the word spare bedroom suggests elsewhere the there's a master suite. And this is where the dogs and I sleep. Complete with a clothes closet. They're spilling out. And adjoining bath. At some point, even Ruth has to laugh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Which brings us to the basement, a fitting place to get to the root of Ruth's obsession. Okay, here we go. That's Ruth, still in her teens. National Holstein girl, 1967. You want a free trip to the National Convention. But already 64. decorated. And I got it as a 4-H award for being the Nicollet County Holstein girl in 1964. Ruth knew cows before most of us learned our ABCs. All those years ago. And finally, in high school, she was old enough to formally study them. I went to the principal and said I want to take an egg class. Girls can't do that. I was not even allowed to take an egg class in high school. Ruth was not allowed to join the school's FFA chapter either. The National Future Farmers of America prohibited girls until 1969. And when Ruth decided to study dairy husbandry at the University of Minnesota, her advisor pulled her aside and warned her, as a woman, she would never find a job. It was very frustrating because I really, really wanted to go into agriculture and would have if I would have had a choice. Instead, Ruth studied home economics, a subject she disliked but that allowed her to become an extension agent. Eventually, she became a reporter and editor, where years later, she would cover the accomplishments of Megan Herberg, a local girl who just this year scored both a U of M animal science degree and a job at Holstein World Magazine. I've watched her grow up, and I've seen her do so many of the things that I wished I could have done at her age, but the doors weren't open to us then. She can do them now. Ruth could be bitter but she's chosen not to be. <laughs> Told to steer clear of a man's world, Ruth Klosner built the biggest herd of them all. I made my own world. <laughs> Boyd Hooper, Carol Evan News, Lafayette. It's full of cows, I've made my own world.